Hey everyone, and welcome back to Onboard Tangaroa. Did you catch last episode? Can you believe Search and Rescue actually like gave us Oscar to play with for a day? Oscar and I shared some beer, we had some wine, and he was a little bit drunk when we decided to throw him overboard. Now, if you didn't watch last episode, you may be wondering what the heck we we're doing. Well, we were helping Search and Rescue with one of their exercises. In this exercise, they had to rescue a person who was hypothermic. And these real-life heroes did an amazing job. Have you ever wanted to just change your life? We did. We're the Carmina family and we felt we were wasting our lives and we desperately needed a change. So we bought and moved on to an old 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a complete refit. Join us as we refit Tangroa while exploring the world around us, one island at a time. It's when people who watch your YouTube channel come over and drink. I was wondering when the camera And enjoy the out. fire with I was, you. I was expecting it like when we were pulling up. I was like, this is Brian. He watches us on YouTube. And this is Rosie over here. It's looking really great with the fire. But this is what we do, it's so awesome. And they've got their boat, Rough Life, rafted up. I'm gonna have to show you in the daytime. Starting to feel like cruising season. We have a beautiful morning, bit of frost on the deck. And our friends are still here. Rough Life is still here. Did you actually meet Mr. Rough Life himself? This is Mr. Rough Life. Oh. This is, uh, this is a official. And there's Russell. He is Mr. Rough Life. Yes. Russell. He does have a rough life. Brian's in the back cooking. Yeah. What's he? Oh, he's yeah. making bacon. No bacon. wonder the dogs are going crazy. <laughs> making bacon, Maggie. What do you think, Megs? I know. Sun shines out. We're eating cereal on the off deck. I think it's going to be cruising season. It's coming. And now it's time for our friends to go, which means I can't be social anymore, which means Blaine is off doing a solar system on another boat, which means I might have to do some work. Oh, well, that's okay. Are you filming me my really cool tooth again? Your tooth is so cool, Brian. Brian was using Wink, which is Awesome little rust stain remover right there, laundry. With, with Blaine's toothbrush, sorry I think Blaine. it's Blaine's toothbrush. <laughs> sorry Blaine. And they're just about to head off. And there they go, bye bye friends. Bye bye. Bye bye. I feel like a little kid going bye bye. Well that was an awesome fun night. It's kind of weird though, talking to someone who's watched all your videos because they kind of know more about you and you're surprised because you're trying to tell these stories and I'm like, he's already heard these stories because he's watched the channel, which is really kind of weird, but kind of funny. So yeah, that was an awesome visit. We really appreciate it. It was awesome to see you, Brian and Rosie, and we'll catch you again on the flip side. So we're going to do a thing. A thing? <laughs> we're going to do a thing. A thing. We are doing mother-daughter piercings right now. <laughs> Izzy's going to get, what are you getting? Two right up here. Yeah. And I'm gonna get my nose done. I've always wanted to do it. <laughs> Turn 50, pierce your nose, why not? So when you get your nose pierced, you have to soak your nose in water, salt water, twice a, twice a day. So we're doing mother-daughter <laughs> pierce soakings. <laughs> So again, Izzy and I got our nose, my nose, and her ears pierced. So we are doing mother-daughter soaking of our piercings. So you can... Happy Easter, everybody. Izzy's moved off. No, wait, Izzy's still on the boat, but Josh has moved off, which means... Gotta hide stuff. How's the hiding going? When are the hiding? One for me. <laughs> Izzy doesn't like chocolate, so we're using gumballs. Let's go outside too. Where are you putting it? Oh, in the beer holder. Oh, in the... Oh, I don't know if she's going to be able to find that one. That's a tough one. Thank you. 
Do not put it in the railing. <laughs> Too yeah, I need some new ones. Here. It's really hard, like, being Easter Bunny. Like, you gotta taste test the eggs. Make sure they're just right. Good morning. Good morning. It's Easter. Happy Easter. I'm currently too cold to get out of the blanket. Did the Easter Bunny come? Yes. Easter Bunny pooped eggs everywhere. We got eggs pooped everywhere. What? Did you just come outside with dinner with it? <laughs> Easter Bunny came. Very deceiving this morning. Because it was so it's bright gum. in the sunshine. <laughs> What's gum? The egg I found right there. Mm -hmm. You had gummy eggs. Why did the Easter Bunny give you gummy eggs, Izzy? Because you don't like the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about this? Whoa. Huh. Which one's mine? The baby one. They're all the same. This is baby basket. Baby basket. Mama basket. Papa bear basket. Baby bear basket. Izzy just went into the garbage. <laughs> Easter Bunny has garbage too. Easter Would Bunny has garbage too. Would you prefer him throw it in the water? No. Yes, Izzy. Doesn't the Easter Bunny poop them out? <laughs> You're eating Easter Bunny poop? Yeah. Well, he has to reload. He has to reload. <laughs> what the heck? You guys are all crazy. These are the mornings. Absolute treasure, especially with Izzy on board. And I know Josh probably haven't mentioned it yet, but Josh has moved on shore. He's 19. He wants to, I don't know, kind of follow his own path, his own life. So he's moved off the boat and he is on shore now. We're working full time at Brentwood Bay. But um, yeah, we just had a lovely Easter morning. Izzy's 15, but she's still the Easter Bunny. It's, she woke up really early at 7 a.m just did the Easter egg hunt. <laughs> it was just so cute. Um, of course, we almost forgot to hide them, but Blaine came up and reminded me. But these are the times I still treasure on the boat. Yeah, she's 15, but she still wants to be a kid. She's kind of stuck between that kid and adult kind of thing. But no, it was an absolutely beautiful morning, and now Blaine and I are just gonna sit up here on the deck um, enjoy the sunshine, watch the boats and life go by. Um, he enjoys coffee, I enjoy tea, and uh, yeah, happy Easter everybody. Here's our little girl, just coming back from taking Maggie to shore. Where is she? You sure? Go, Maggie! Go! <laughs> Go, Maggie! Wow, it's quite graceful. Good job. Did she pee and poo? Yes. Nice. Happy dog. Happy dog! Happy dog! And for Easter, we have... Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict and... Japanese cartoons? <laughs> Japanese cartoons. It's called anime. Anime. And I do things a bit different. I do my eggs benedict on portobello mushrooms. Which is so yummy on portobello mushrooms. And if you want it even better, put some pesto sauce in the portobello mushroom before you grill it. Oh, I got, I got dust in my eyes. So today is grinding day on board Tangaroa. Um, it's a nice day out. 
I've got the deck closed up and I'm grinding the Bondo off the aft deck. But let me show you how thick this stuff is. Like, it is horrible. So, this is the Bondo here. And as you can see, I've already grinded the inside of the door just to get the paint off. And now I'm working on this. Some of it's rotten, you can see down here. Right, it was just broke off because there's water underneath it and there's some water underneath there with the corrosion. But that is like half inch Bondo to get through. You can see it there. But, uh, but it's a big job and you just kind of take a foot by foot. Blaine is polishing um, a wing station right now and um, yeah, I'm almost out of 40 grit pads, which is good because then I have to stop. And the Easter Bunny came today, so I'm going to go get some chocolate and tea also. But I've got one, two more 40 grit pads to use, and then I am out for the day. Anything? He's just got himself strapped with a rope. I don't know. You feel like you're trapezing out on a sailboat? Do you feel safe? I see your bum! <laughs> So this is what happens when water gets under paint and it's all got to come off. So I take my hammer that is a lot of corrosion. Let me show you that is all corrosion under there but if that aluminum is ground off and left it'll be fine. So that's what I'm doing. I take paint off. It is a story of my life on this boat. Eventually, I think I will get enough paint off that I won't have to do it again, but we'll see what happens. Hey everyone, so I did ship's log this week and really it was all about how I'm just overwhelmed that I didn't really have the energy to do stuff. Well, after doing that, I got some really good um, feedback. It's like, oh, you can do it, some positive, yeah. Anyways, you can see the ship's log on Patreon. We put one out every week. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's time to rip apart this bathroom and get this bathtub out. And then that will give us a blank slate to build what we want. So that's what I'm doing. Time to rip out the bathtub. And this wall here, we don't need it. This one we're keeping because it's the back of my linen closet, which every boat should have a linen closet, no? So yeah, let's do it. I wish you could smell it in here. It's like wet, rotting wood. It'd be nice to get all this rotting wood out. The bilges are clean, so yeah, the, just the wet wood has to come out. Oh, I think I did it. Look. I think I took off one piece. Sawzall is like the king. Well, there's one piece of the wall done. Now I'm working on this one. See what I have to do? I have to cut through there. I have to cut through it, but I think we can do it. I've been editing and Blaine's been demolishing. Not a lot of demolishing per se, just removing. Removing. That's cool. Yeah, just gotta get it leaned over and out of here. You're gonna need my help for that. Oh yeah. Wah, okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Sweat. The camera right there with your right elbow. Yep. Please fit, please fit. Oh, I've already measured. Oh. I've measured. Well, if you wanted to put a bathtub back in again, they fit in. Okay, up one step, up two step, up three step. And this is our bathroom. Blank slate, man. Yep. It smells. 
So Josh has moved on shore and I was just down in the Four Peak where he played computer picking up some stuff. So I found a webcam and then this. <coughs> it's just like gross. Like seriously kids, you can't put away your food. Like it's just disgusting. Like what kind of, ugh, yuck. Yep, it's hailing again. Things are bouncing on board Tangaroa. There's some big chunks of hail going on here. Look at it all, it's all bouncing. Yeah, welcome to, I don't know, what month is it? April, it's coming up to the end of the April and we're getting hail, like look at. I would really like it to, you know, get nice out so we can like do work on this boat now. Uh, come on, mother nature, what are you doing to us? Like, seriously, this is, yeah. Does anyone have an inside scoop to Mother Nature? Can you like put in a call for us? Say, hey, Tangaroa crew would really like some nice weather so we can do the refit. Come on, Mother Nature, you can do it. We were able to do some small projects under the cover of the aft deck though. One of them was to start painting the chipboard in the drawers to stop the chipboard from falling apart. Let's just say Izzy is not the neatest of painters. So Izzy just painted all of her drawers and now she is playing with her new smoothie machine. <laughs> what you making? A smoothie. A smoothie. It's Boy. a smoothie machine. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty yummy. It is. <laughs> it is. It's very well. So then thankfully, the weather got a little bit better. This piece, um, I took all the putt off, all the Bondo, but I think this is being held by Bondo. So we just took the screws out. I'm just gonna pop this off to see what it looks like underneath because everything's coming off now that I took the paint off. So a little bit of wedges. That's loud. It scared me. It scared me. More wedges. coming up. I lost the wedge in there. You pass those two wedges? Now we're obviously trying to not damage the wood, so, so this is off. the creak, creak, creak. Underneath. I think I did it. Wow. Did it. Wasn't stuck by much. <laughs> Look at that. Two, two little spots. Look at the wet. Yeah. That's all moisture. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's all wet. We needed to get that off. Look at. It. Oh, it's gonna be the same under all the other rails. Look at the corrosion right there. Yep. So you wonder why we're taking off stuff. So I'm gonna grind this down. I'll take a heat gun to this make this into um what's the word i'm saying bear bear and then i'll put an epoxy barrier coat on top just like we did with the bottom maybe maybe two or three coats and then uh, i'll prep this up and we'll put it back on for the summer and we'll just glue it down yes no more screws right that's right cool so this is the back of the teak rail that was on our aft um, let me look. See where it's gray right there? It was sitting on that aft, um, the heck is it called? Door. But look at the water underneath. I just want to show you. This is why I'm taking it off. And people are like, this is crazy. Why are you doing all that? Well, look at all the water. It's just coming off. And all the teak is damp. So we are going to save this teak. I'm going to get all this off, let it all dry out. And then I'm going to glue it back on. I've already epoxy coated where it came off and then uh, varnish it all nice and pretty. And then we have to do all the other rails. But yeah, we just tried this one to see what it was like and it's not going to be that hard. Oh no! <laughs> this is what happens when you pick up strange people in the bay. They surf all the way in. <laughs> 
while I was working it's on like the teeth, Lane aluminum. was rewiring the crane. Drilling hole saw overhead. Holy crap! Yeah. That is thick. You yeah. just need to make one hole? Huh? Need to make one. Okay, you're almost there. Just enough to get the wires through. But you can go from the top now. There's a guide. <laughs> nope. Oh. Because the crane's on top of it. Oh. Okay. I got no room to get it in there. You got it! <sighs> oh, I was there. You were there. That's what I said. Oh, you were almost there. Uh, that is thick. Well, that's just part of it. This was the other part of it. Let's see. Holy cow. So it was both of those together are pretty, uh, pretty gosh darn thick. I think you can even get that out. That is thick aluminum. Yeah, that's a thick deck. Well, it's just because that's where the crane is. They've got that plate. I'm hoping the hollows is thick. Not that thick. Oh. Maybe just the front, the stem? Not that thick. Oh. <laughs> Are you lifting it all the way up? Huh? You lifting it all the way up? Yeah. Cool. My, what a big crane you have. Here come the fresh prawns. So Izzy, we're heading to the pub, but Izzy, this is what she's having for dinner. Oh, you made her catch for dinner first, right? And then, where'd you get this water from, Iz? And then we just went and got ocean water. That's what we're gonna cook the prawns in. And they're gonna be so yummy, and you're going to just pig out our prawns. You want some garlic butter? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like hunting, gathering for your own food, eh? And those are both three minutes. Three when they're fresh. Four from frozen. What do you guys think? Dinner made for a 15 year old? Oh, I think so. The video. What do you think about your dinner? It's a nice place to sit and watch. Just sit and look outside. Bit of waves. Where's the seal? And as the day ended, the porpoises came right in next to the boat. It's my first time ever seeing the porpoises so close to Tangaroa. And as Blaine and I head up to the top deck to watch the sunset, I think this is the perfect place to end this episode. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you want more just like that, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that bell button thingamabopper because it lets you know when new videos come out. And you know what? Sometimes I'm not always on schedule. Also consider becoming a patron and getting access to the private wheelhouse of Tangaroa.